the next U.S. Senator from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, David McCormick. He's incredible. He's a come up, David. Come up here. Come. He's a military hero. And honestly, you know, your senator, I don't think I ever met him in four years. Nobody knows who he is. It's the weirdest thing. It's almost like, how do they keep getting elected? You got to elect this guy. He's a war hero. He's a national hero. He's a brilliant man. He went out, he made a fortune and all that stuff. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. It means he's smart, right? Do we agree? It means he's smart. You guys didn't make that much, but you're very smart anyway. But David has been a friend of mine. He's an incredible man and respected all over the place. And, and, you know, you have one chance to get a guy like this in. A lot of people, after watching my experience, they're not doing this anymore, are they? So I'd like to introduce Dave McCormick, a great guy. Hopefully he's going to be your next senator. You're going to win, and you're going to win big, David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you so much, all of you. And listen, in Pennsylvania, we know, Mr. President, this is the most important election of our lifetime. We know it. And we also know that this is ground zero, which is going to put you back in the White House and a majority in the Senate. Right here, sir. Right here in Pennsylvania. And I want to welcome you back to Pennsylvania after Butler. We're so glad you're here, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I want to say what you all know, which is this is an incredibly important choice because we ha can continue to have the failed, horrible policies of Biden, Harris, and Casey. And I say Casey because he votes 98% of the time. That destroys our economy, open borders, the fentanyl crisis, crime, the war on fossil fuels. But it only gets worse. It only gets worse under Harris, Casey. It only gets worse. And that is why we need strong leadership, common sense leadership. And when I go on the campaign trail, Mr. President, the thing I hear that people want most is strength. And I tell them, listen, I'm a combat veteran. I'm an army wrestler. And when I was standing there in Butler and saw those uh, bullets flying, and I've seen people get shot at before, and you came up and put that fist in the air and said, fight, fight, fight. I said to everybody, that's strength. That's what we need for America. That's why we're going to win on November 5th. God bless this Commonwealth. Wow. Wow. That's great. You know, David, it is true. David was in Butler, and he was sitting exactly there. And you know, Corey was sitting right behind him. Can you imagine? Corey was killed. He was sitting right behind David. And David didn't flinch. He didn't move. I mean, some people moved. Actually, I think it was really known that when bullets are fired in a stadium, everyone really gets moving fast. They call it a stampede. Nobody moved. You looked at the people behind me, right? Everyone's seen those people. Those people have become legendary. That was just a small group. The main tens of thousands of people right here, you couldn't even see the end. Nobody ran. Nobody moved. They knew I was in trouble. They said, he's in trouble. Every, if you went to a soccer stadium where you'll have a bullet go off, one bullet, the whole place runs for the exits. Nobody ran. And how about the man behind me with the black outfit and the green floppy hat? He's like this. David, did you see him? He's, he's standing. He's looking. Right? Where? Get up here. Is that him? Yeah, that's wow. That's great, huh? Well, you're good. You can be in a foxhole with me anytime, man. Thank you. That's great. That was a hell of a day, huh? But there were a number of them back there. They were just brave. Everybody. There was nobody that fled. I think, I think nobody fled, right? They were brave people, and they were looking, and they were pointing. They saw it. They were pointing. It was incredible. And one of these crowd control people that came in afterwards said, they've never seen it where bullets are fired 
And I'll tell you something, David was standing and sitting right, literally, the bullets were going over your head. They were going over my head, too, the second group. But uh, you weren't a flincher either, were you? You weren't. And Corey, right alongside of you, right behind him. And uh, you got to vote for this man. He's a hero, and he's a great gentleman. He'll be a great senator. And it's time for a change. Time for a change. I mean that. A vote for Dave McCormick as they vote to seal our borders, stop migrant crime, defeat inflation, bring down prices, and defend Pennsylvania energy. You have to defend your energy. They will not allow fracking. As soon as, if they got in, her first move will be to end fracking all throughout the United States. Dave is running against truly a, not a good member. I don't like to be disrespectful. He's been there a long time, but Bob Casey is a stiff. He's a stiff. Nobody, nobody knows who the hell he is. I don't think I've ever gone to a meeting where he's been in the meeting, Mike. Mike has been in the meeting. Dan has been in the meeting. Scott has had too many meetings, right? No, I don't think I've ever been, I don't think I've ever been to a meeting where Casey's even been there. And I've been to a lot of meetings with a lot of senators, but you know, he just sort of goes along year after year. His father was there, he's there. We want to have a great warrior. Dave, good luck. Good luck.